Hey y'all, it's Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I wish I knew before my freshman year of college. So if you guys are new to my channel, hey, my name is Jade. I'm going to be a senior in college in the fall, which is literally crazy to think about. I go to Lee University and I'm a nursing major here on campus. I've had a really excellent college experience. Obviously, there's been ups and downs, but I feel like overall I have just looked back on these last three years as some of the best years of my life. But I definitely have a lot of things that I wish I knew before I came and a lot of things I've learned that I would love to share with you guys. If y'all are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below for more college related content as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Leave any questions that you guys have about college um, and also like where you're going if you guys are a rising freshman in college in the comment section down below as well as follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just at Jade Benward across the board, Instagram, TikTok, everything. But I think that's going to be it for this intro so let's hop right on in to the video. So I will say some of these tips are like more deep and some of them are a little bit more surface level. It's kind of all across the board and they are just all mixed in there. But the first one that I have for you guys is kind of surface level, but very important. Don't buy unnecessary things. You will watch a million YouTube videos, see a million TikToks on all of these dorm things that you need, all these school supplies that you need, all of these clothing items that you need. But truly, honestly, the less you can bring with you to college, the easier your life is going to be. Wherever you go, dorm storage is always going to be limited. <laughs> and you will feel so much more at peace if you have a decluttered and not crazy full of things that you don't need um, dorm. Most of the things that you see in these videos you don't actually need or end up using that much. And I personally fell very victim to that and bought an insane amount of things for my dorm, as you can probably tell if you go back three years and watch my like two to three part dorm haul. But ultimately when you get to college, you're gonna find out what you need and you can always go out and purchase those things once you get to school. My second thing that I wish I knew before college is that most college work is done online. So my best tip for you guys is to invest in an iPad or a really good laptop. I personally have a laptop and an iPad and I use both of them a ton, but I really just say this to say you don't need a bunch of notebooks and pens and pencils and school supplies like you did in high school. And that doing homework and studying is just gonna look really different in college. Number three, this is a really funny one to be uh, jumping in with right now, but it is so true. Boys will try and date you from literally like your first day on campus. Like girl, if you're single and you are walking onto a college campus, like there is a whole like breed of boy that is just coming in there being like, new, new girl, new girl, new girls. And they will try and lock you into a relationship literally within like your first few days on campus. Also, just something to throw out there. I feel like that is a really a good piece of advice for an incoming freshman girl. Just to kind of be on the lookout because not every guy that's coming up to you is like trying to be your bestie. Um, they're trying to lock you down and find their ring by spring. So just so you know. Also, if you're a girl like myself who actually came into college, I came into college with a high school boyfriend. Just put that out there. There's gonna be a lot of boys swarming. It's just interesting. Honestly, I'm excited for you if you're like an incoming freshman to have that experience because it is a little bit funny to watch, honestly. Number four, the best friendships are found by taking a risk and putting yourself out there. I know how intimidating it can be that first day, those first couple days on campus where you just moved into your dorm, your parents have left, you have no friends. I mean, I didn't know anybody coming to Lee. I didn't even have a roommate. Um, I know how intimidating that can be. I have been there. I still feel that very vividly. Some of the most cherished friendships, my literal two college roommates that I still have to this day were because I took a risk. I went up to somebody in the calf that I didn't know and I started a conversation. Honestly, I do not know what water I was drinking when I first came to Lee because I was so extroverted and I was literally going up to anyone I could possibly meet and becoming friends with them. But I'm so thankful that that girl back then did that because I have found some incredible friendships just through my first few weeks on campus. Again, some of the best ones came from me taking a risk and putting myself out there. Whether or not that's walking up to someone random or joining a club that you're intimidated to join because maybe you're not the best at it or it's something new to you or even just meeting people on your dorm hall. It's gonna be really easy, especially if you have a roommate. I've seen this with a lot of my friends to kind of just stick like this to your roommate or stick like this to your high school bestie that you brought with you. But please like put yourself out there, meet some new people. There is so much opportunity for just like amazing friendships and growth to be found, but you have to take a risk. But on the topic of friendships, my next tip for you guys is that love your friends extraordinarily well. Everyone that you meet that you become with, love them so well, but also know that not every friendship is gonna last four years. I know that you've probably heard the little slang like your freshman year friend group, like your first semester friend group, and then you like never talk to half those people uh, the rest of your college experience. And like, unfortunately, that is true a lot of the time. 
Now I'm not saying that's true all the time. Again, like I said, the two people that have been my roommates all the way until my senior year of college were girls I met my first week at Lee. But when I look at like who my consistent close friend groups are these days, most of the time it's not those people that were in my freshman year friend group. It's not an excuse to ditch those friends or not be good friends. I'm so thankful for how intentionally we loved each other in that season and how close. I, I mean, I got so close to my first semester friends. Um, like literally thought they were gonna be the bridesmaids of my wedding. And I'm so thankful for that because I learned so much from them. And when I see them on campus, we still have a good relationship. But also, it really is good to go in with that expectation knowing that some relationships really are just for a season because that will help you protect your heart and guard your heart so much when sometimes those friendships do end and help you remember that there's always going to be new people to meet and there is a place for you wherever you're at. You might just not find it in your freshman year friend group. Number six, kind of taking a spin from the last kind of deep one, um, invest in some cute, comfy clothes. People are not wearing like jeans and nice tops and like heels and skirts and whatever to class. So when purchasing clothes to come to school, invest in some like cute sweatshirts and some comfy sets or like good leggings and like tops that you really like that are kind of more comfy. I also would recommend investing in really cute like sneakers that are really comfortable that you like as well because you're going to be doing so much walking on campus especially freshman year and sophomore year when you're doing so many things on campus every single day because most of the time you're going to want to wear sneakers or maybe like a comfy sandal if you're more of a sandal girly. Number seven is to find something to get involved with on campus. I know that this seems like such a basic tip but it honestly is the biggest one I could possibly give to you guys and the, and the biggest thing that I wish I knew before I came to college. Always have fun. Know that you can have fun anywhere. You don't have to be a part of a club. Obviously my whole first semester I wasn't a part of any clubs on campus and I had literally so much fun. I had one of the most fun semesters of my whole college experience. But one thing I did notice towards the end of that semester was just how much friends kind of come in and out and friend groups just, they just, they fluctuate so much. And one thing that I really craved in my college experience and something that I know um, you guys are really gonna benefit from as well is consistency. So when I came back that following spring semester, I actually rushed a girls Greek club on campus. Now I'm not saying you have to do Greek life, but that is what I chose to do. Um, and I was so thankful for that because not only did it bring me a whole nother community, a whole new group of amazing women to be friends with, but they were women I knew were gonna be with me for four years. Like these were going to be consistent friendships I was gonna have my entire college experience. And I feel like being involved with something on campus, whether that be a choir or a theater group or a Greek club or a sports team or whatever, not only it will it give you amazing community, but it will give you consistent community. I also encourage you guys to look for a club or look for something to be involved with that gives you opportunity to grow. When you first get into the club as a freshman, you would have lots of older girls that pour into you and you're kind of the mentee. But as you get older and you get wiser and you, you know, learn more about what the college experience is supposed to look like, you're able to kind of transition into the role of a mentor and pouring into girls younger than you. That to a T has been my Omega experience. I had amazing mentors my first couple semesters in the club, one of which whose wedding I was literally in last weekend. But now I'm at the point where I'm going into my senior year and there I have so many amazing women who are younger than me that are literally my best friends. But I also feel like I have the opportunity to pour into them, mentor them and kind of give them give them some advice from a good old senior in college. I feel like that is honestly the key to a fruitful community and a fruitful college experience is being able to be poured into but also pour out and leave a legacy when you leave. Number eight, remember to love on your friends from back home. This was something I really wish I knew when I had first come to Lee because I was so excited about being in college. I was a COVID senior, I graduated in 2020. So, I mean, I had been away from community, away from school for so long. And so I was genuinely so excited. I'm so glad that I invested so wholeheartedly into my Lee experience, but I was also wish that I would have spent more time to intentionally care and love on my friends from back home. It's very true that you are not going to stay best friends with most of your high school best friends. Honestly, most people I was friends with in high school, I literally haven't even talked to in multiple years, which is really sad to think about, but it is the truth. But at least for me, I definitely had a group of girls. They were like my church life group friends, but they also went to high school with me that really stuck. 
And even though I don't see them every single day, even though I don't talk to them every single day, they are genuinely some of the most important people in my life to me. And I am so thankful to the girls in the group. There was a couple of them that are coming to mind specifically that were so good about texting in that group chat every day and sending Lair Little Life updates in our Snapchat group or whatever that kept that community and kept that consistent communication alive. And that was not me. I was not the one that like was keeping the group alive and keeping the group together and hanging out when we're all home on breaks and stuff like that. But I'm so, so thankful to the girls that did for that group because now, you know, graduation is in less than a year for me and I'm probably going to be moving back home or moving somewhere else. And like those are the girls that I know that at the end of the day, when college is done, obviously I have this whole big amazing group of college friends that I'll carry with me. But I also know that equally I have those girls that I want to carry with me. Um, and they're just so important and they're really the only people um, that you'll have in your life that have known you from when you were a kid to now. Anyways. I know I'm rambling, but those relationships are really important. I neglected them for a long time. So don't be like me, take this piece of advice and don't neglect your high school friends in the craziness of college. Number nine, dorm life is a special time, don't wish it away. It's really easy to be dreaming of living on off campus and having a whole room to yourself that you can decorate and make all cute and stuff like that. And trust me, living off campus has a ton of benefits, but I honestly catch myself missing dorm life all the time. It is such a fun place to meet people. You are literally, it just, it just feels like a giant like camp slumber party 24 seven. And although it definitely has its downfalls, dorm life is so fun and my wish I could go back and tell myself to not wish it away. Number 10, live large and make a ton of memories your first couple of semesters at college. Obviously you're gonna have an amazing college experience all of, all of college and I still am making some of my favorite memories in my later semesters in college but something that I did well and I'm so glad I did but I even honestly would tell myself to do even more of it is just spend those first couple semesters while you're taking easier classes and you're taking gen eds and like as a nursing student you don't have clinicals and like really hard nursing exams to study for all the time to just really live large because it will get harder you're later you're in college and you're gonna have to spend more time studying and more time doing internships or clinicals or whatever that looks like for you and your major um so just live it up those first couple semesters and don't wait till you're a senior to try and do fun things number 11 this is a little bit of a deep one and this is one that like i almost kind of feel like awkward sharing but when i was making my little list for this video this was a tip that i really wanted to put in there and so hopefully it's not like awkward or whatever for me to talk about but it is okay to keep relationships from high school and come into college like i said i came in with a boyfriend from college and relationships can mean friendships boyfriends girlfriends whatever but for me it was a boyfriend it's okay to bring those relationships into the college and they can be so fruitful and so amazing so do not take this as me saying like long distance relationships don't work because i've seen amazing high school long distance relationships work out um, and even my relationship was really good for a really long time but also know that it's okay to let them go you see i'm not going to get into my whole breakup story with my ex-boyfriend but like to sum it up it really neither of us did anything wrong i literally have all the love and respect for him in the entire world um and still think the world of him and i know that he still thinks the world of me but um we just realized like after our freshman year of college that like we were just holding each other back from experiencing the full potential of our college experience and being able to step into the full growth that we had made from our first year at college. We did not go to the same school, just as a long distance relationship type of thing. And one thing that I wish I would have told my little high school self um, or even my freshman year self is that it's okay to let those things go. Like it was horribly sad and obviously when I came into college I didn't want to break up with him we were madly in love at that point um but you know as freshman year went on and I think both of us could agree and say the same thing we could feel that tension of just feeling like we weren't living the same lives anymore and we weren't feeling as connected as we used to but there was so 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 much fear of letting go of that relationship because we had been such an important part of each other's lives for so long and like I know I had thought through like what would life even look like without this person in the end obviously we did choose to not be together and that has been oh my gosh for the best for both of us in so many ways we're both in really healthy really great long-term relationships now with different people that we wouldn't have met without that and even beyond finding a new boyfriend finding a new girlfriend the growth that i experienced that next semester after we broke up the growth that i experienced when i was able to like fully step into my college my lee experience i just wouldn't trade that for the world and i just would go back and tell little freshman year jade that it's okay 
it's okay that you're growing out of things it's okay that you're moving on it's okay that you're changing and it's okay that he is too so again i'm not saying long distance relationships don't work because it was not the long distance that ended up breaking us up but i am saying it's okay to outgrow things sometimes number 12 pursue your dreams pursue your passions and chase after them hard college is literally the time to do those things it's the time to figure out what you're passionate about it is the time to think up all of these dreams you've ever had your whole life and chase after them not every dream is going to work out not every passion is going to turn into a career necessarily um but this really is the time to dream big and i know sometimes it doesn't feel that way sometimes it feels like when you get to college and you see the true rigor of your major you see how long or how hard it really is going to take to achieve these different dreams it can kind of turn you away but ultimately you are in the time of your life to pursue your dreams um and i would go back and i would tell freshman year jade that just kind of keep pushing don't you know be afraid to do hard things i was very intimidated by nursing school when i came freshman year because i saw all of the older nursing majors and just like how they were always crying in the library but i'm just so thankful i continued to pursue my dream and pursue my passions even when there were seasons of life that it felt like it was going to be impossible number 13 not that deep go abroad go abroad now not everyone is going to be able to do a semester abroad i wish so badly that i was able to do a whole semester abroad but obviously being a nursing major that doesn't really that doesn't really work for my major but i did get the opportunity to do um a summer like study abroad trip it was for about a month a little under a month in italy last summer and we went to 11 different cities and literally so much of my decor on my walls and everything is from that trip. I made a bunch of videos about it. I'm sure you guys have seen them if you have been subscribed to my channel for a year. But that was literally the experience of a lifetime. I loved every second of that trip. It is genuinely like a highlight of my college experience. I grew personally. I had so much fun. I don't really even know what else to say about that. Just like go abroad. Number 14, this is the time to be broke. Obviously, we have to have money to be able to like eat and pay for college and things like that. So like work hard during the summers. And if you have to have a job during the semester too, very understandable. Get that girl. But also I know so many people who have spent like their entire college experience just working. And if that is what you have to do to be able to like remain financially afloat, of course do that. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying if you have the opportunity to just maybe be a little bit more broke but be able to be more present in your college experience like take it this isn't the time to have all the designer clothes or all the nice things or live in the fanciest apartment or drive the nicest car this is the time to make memories and the time to chase your dreams um and honestly just if you embrace being broke in college it can be a little bit stressful trust me i am someone who gets stressed about finances sometimes but it's just fun so just embrace being broke. I, I don't really have anything else to say about that tip, but embrace being broke. <laughs> Number 15, and the one that I want to leave you guys with, is don't put so much expectation on this season of life. I know that you guys have heard probably a million times over since the day that you were born, college is the best four years of your life, and you always hear all these things about the college experience. Um, and honestly, from so many people that I've talked to, and even my own life, like, it can be so toxic to have that expectation over these four years inevitably college is just another season of life and we never know what life is going to throw at us and life is always going to have ups and downs i have had incredible semesters of college where it feels like it's just fun every single day of my life and i've also had extraordinarily hard seasons of life in college and i've gone through some of the toughest battles that i've ever walked through while being in college overall i look back on this being an incredible experience all the high amazing moments but also the moments that were really hard but i grew from them and i couldn't tell you if this is going to be considered the best four years of my life because I still have a whole rest of my life to live. I feel like though when people walk in with this expectation it needs to be the best four years or you need to have a certain college experience that's when you're left discontent you're left feeling like you're not doing enough or you're pushing yourself to extremes to do all of these things that you're not prioritizing rest and self-care and everything that is important college experience is gonna be wonderful whatever it looks like I promise you and it's also okay if it does not end up being the best four years of your life all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up it really does help out my channel as well as subscribe down below for more college related content leave in the comment section down below any videos that you guys want to see about college and also leave in the comment like I said earlier if you guys are a rising freshman I want to know like where you're going to college what your major is where you're from stuff like that so fun I'm really excited for this next season of life for each of you like I've said college has been such a wonderful experience for me and I hope that these tips helped give you guys some advice going into your freshman 
freshman year and hopefully made you feel more peace and more comfort going into, I know, a little bit of an intimidating season of life. Make sure to follow me on all my other social media. It's just at Jade Benward for Instagram and TikTok. I do a lot more of my daily life content over on those platforms. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Since I'm